guys, what's up? So the MLBB Slime recently received a game-changing adjustment to his skills. The developers decided to shift loose damage towards his first skill to optimize his gameplay. They added a new effect that restores 3% max HP upon detonating a goo. In addition, the bonus damage is now HP-based. This gives a tankier goo a decent damage while keeping his sustainability. The combination of his passive and the buffed first skill gives Glue an advantage in the laning phase. First blood. To balance, they slightly reduce the cast range and base damage of his first and second skill. However, they increase the Goose trigger range for easy detonation and shorten the animation of his second skill. And lastly, they remove the cooldown reduction effect of skills 1 and 2 on his ultimate. The HP region in the split-split state was reduced as well. With that said, I'll use one of the game-recommended builds in Glue's arsenal. These are defense items that can deal damage just like the Thunder Belt, Curse Helmet, and Blade Armor. Most of them also gives additional HP to enhance the HP restore in Glue's first skill. I'll also use the Avery's Emblem to help Glue fund his build. With Glue's gameplay, he can easily maximize the Emblem's effect. As with the Talent spell, you can use Sprint to help you escape or chase an enemy with your ultimate. But I prefer Petrify though. The first turtle has spawned. Let's clear this lane first and get into position to provide backup for our jungler. Watch out for the jungle. I guess both junglers are busy getting their buff. Let's help Karina then. I got a bounce! One noticeable adjustment in the early game is the reduced HP region on his split-split state. However, it was compensated by the HP region from the new effect of detonating his goo. I'm sorry, Leomord, I got carried away detonating the goo. One of the most important things when playing Glue is maximizing his passive. You need to put stacks on the enemy using his skills to reduce their damage to glue for more sustainability. You can use any skill to stock up his passive, but I like to use the first skill and detonate it by walking into it. Aside from the HP region, the enemy caught by the explosion will receive damage and will be immobilized for one second. On the other hand, I like to use his second skill to reach the enemy's squishy heroes at the back or to dive into the center of a team fight. Now that Glue will be spamming a lot of his first skills, Thunderbelt will be an excellent choice to save you from the mana trouble. It also has cooldown reduction and additional HP that can complement his first skill. Aside from that, it gives physical defense and an HP-based extra true damage that can help Glue in his offense in the early game. I think our alien ally can use some help. Has been destroyed. I got you, Zask. Even if you can kill the target in the split-split state, it's still better to use the grab-grab and attach yourself to the enemy. Aside from the extra HP region in the grab-grab state, the cooldown will significantly reduce if an enemy dies in that state. You're welcome, Zask. As expected, an extra passenger is not welcome in Yin's dimension. Time to destroy the outer tower. Both teams are contesting with the turtle. I'll stay in the experience lane and protect the tower from Yin. The enemy has slain the turtle.
Too bad our mage didn't join them in the team fight. Ouch! And here comes a team fight. The next turtle is about to spawn. Let's scout the area while we wait for our jungler. Request backup. Let's try to buy time while our jungler takes the turtle. Too bad he followed me here. And because of that, the enemy has slain the turtle. Hang on, Belleric. Come on, Beatrix, I'll hold this horse for you. An enemy has been slain. And here comes another team fight. Let's see if we can gang some enemies. Well played, Beatrix. I can see that Glue is a viable pick in the experience lane. Spamming his first kill helps him deal and sustain damage, especially in the laning phase. Just make sure that you always detonate the good up. Consecutively mobilizing the enemy in a team fight is handy as well. In addition, he is now the hero with the highest win rate in all tiers, according to the official MLBB stats. And there we go guys, what can you say about Blue's adjustments? Are these changes enough to make him more appealing to our casual players? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video, stay safe and thank you for watching.